Welcome to Donatella Virtual College, the home of business data analytics, offered and examined by Casnub. Our motto is accessible, convenient, and affordable learning. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will take 5 seconds to subscribe. Please let's subscribe before we forget. Okay, now we'll continue, hoping that you have subscribed. We also offer various learning experiences as displayed. For inquiries, enrollment, and additional information, visit our website or directly WhatsApp us via the links provided in the description box down below. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another engaging lecture with Donatella. We are thrilled to have you here today as we take a moment to highlight the ongoing May and June intake. We encourage you to seize this opportunity and consider enrolling with us, where we guarantee success and affordability. Now, let's delve into the world of data visualization and reporting in Excel. Get ready to enhance your skills and unlock the power of visual storytelling with this powerful tool. Definition of Data Visualization Data visualization is the process of presenting complex data sets in a visual and easily understandable format. It involves using various graphical representations such as charts, graphs, maps, and other visual aids to highlight patterns, trends, and relationships within the data. Benefits of data visualization Data visualization has several benefits, including 1. Enhanced understanding Visual representation of data makes it easier for individuals to comprehend and interpret complex data sets. 2. Better decision making, data visualization enables individuals to identify patterns and trends quickly, making it easier to make informed decisions. 3. Increased engagement, data visualization enhances engagement by making data more interactive, visually appealing, and easy to understand. 4. Improved communication, Data visualization provides a common language for communicating data insights to others, making it easier to share findings and collaborate with team members. Qualities of good data visualization Effective data visualization should have the following qualities. 1. Clarity The visualization should be easy to understand and convey the intended message clearly. 2. Accuracy The visualization should accurately represent the data and avoid any misleading information. 3. Simplicity the visualization should be simple and concise, without any unnecessary elements. For relevance, the visualization should be relevant to the audience and their needs. 5. Interactivity Interactive elements, such as hover over text or zooming, can enhance engagement and understanding. 6. Aesthetics The visualization should be visually appealing and use appropriate color schemes, font sizes, and styles. Types of data visualization a Comparison Data Visualization Comparison data visualization refers to the use of graphical representation to compare different sets of data. The main purpose of comparison data visualization is to make it easy for people to understand and compare different data sets quickly and easily. Here are some common types of comparison data visualization. Examples of comparison visualization in Excel. One column chart. This is a great chart to use when you want to compare different categories of data. Each category is represented by a separate column, and the height of each column shows the value of that category. You can use this chart to compare sales by month. 2. Bar chart. A bar chart is similar to a column chart, but the bars are horizontal instead of vertical. This chart is useful when you have long category names or a lot of categories to display. You can use this chart to compare the number of employees in different departments. 3. Line Chart A line chart is useful for showing trends over time. Each data point is represented by a point on a line, and the lines connect the points to show the overall trend. You can use this chart to compare stock prices over time. 4. Area Chart An area chart is similar to a line chart, but the area under the line is shaded in. This chart is useful when you want to show the magnitude of a trend over time. You can use this chart to compare the total sales of two different pro 5. Scatter chart A scatter chart is useful for showing the relationship between two variables. Each data point is represented by a point on a graph, and the position of the point shows the value of the two variables. You can use this chart to compare the relationship between the price and quality of different products. 6. Bubble chart a bubble chart is similar to a scatter chart, but each data point is represented by a circle, and the size of the circle shows the value of a third variable. 
This chart is useful when you want to compare three variables at once. You can use this chart to compare the price, quality, and popularity of different products. 7. Radar Chart A radar chart is useful for comparing multiple variables at once. Each variable is represented by a line, and the lines form a shape that shows the overall pattern of the data. You can use this chart to compare the strengths and weaknesses of different employees. Composition Data Visualization Composition data visualization in Excel refers to the use of graphical representations to display how the different parts of a whole contribute to the whole. The main purpose of composition data visualization is to help people understand the relative contribution of different parts to the overall total. Here are some common types of composition data visualization in Excel. 1. Pie charts. Pie charts are a common type of composition visualization. They use a circle divided into slices to represent the relative sizes of different parts of a whole. Pie charts are useful for comparing proportions, but they can be difficult to read if there are too many categories. 2. Stacked bar charts. Stacked bar charts use a series of bars stacked on top of each other to represent the different parts of a whole. Each bar represents a category, and the length of the bar represents the total value. The bars are divided into segments to represent the different parts of the category. 3. Tree map charts. Tree map charts use rectangles to represent the different parts of a whole. The size of the rectangle represents the value of the category, and the rectangles are arranged in a hierarchy to show the different levels of the data. 4. Sunburst charts. Sunburst charts use a circle divided into concentric rings to represent the different parts of a whole. Each ring represents a level of the data hierarchy and the size of the segment represents the value of the category. 5. Waterfall charts. Waterfall charts are useful for showing how a starting value changes over time or through a process. They use a series of bars to represent the value at each step of the process, and the bars are connected to show the change over time. Relationship Data Visualization Relationship data visualization in Excel refers to the use of graphical representations to display the relationship between two or more variables. The main purpose of relationship data visualization is to help people understand the correlation, association, or dependency between different sets of data. Here are some common types of relationship data visualization in Excel. 1. Scatter plots. Scatter plots are a common type of relationship visualization. They use a series of dots to represent the values of two variables. The dots are plotted on a graph with one variable on the x-axis and the other variable on the y-axis. Scatter plots are useful for identifying patterns and correlations in data sets. 2. Bubble charts. Bubble charts are similar to scatter plots, but they also use the size of the bubbles to represent a third variable. They are useful for comparing three variables at once and for identifying relationships between variables. 3. Heat maps. Heat maps are used to visualize data on a two-dimensional plane. They are often used to display geographic data, but they can be used for any data set where location or position is relevant. Heat maps use different colors to represent the intensity of the relationship between two variables. 4. Network diagrams. Network diagrams are used to show the relationship between different nodes. They are often used in social network analysis or in organizational charting to show the connections between different individuals or departments. 5. Sankey diagrams. Sankey diagrams are used to show the flow of data or resources through a system. They are useful for identifying bottlenecks or areas where resources are being wasted. That is the end of our lecture today. See in the next. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more advanced educational videos.